Hello YouTube. Back Karin Fisher back here for another video. I'm really really sorry that it's took me nearly two months to do another video. Um, a lot's been happening and I haven't had the time and also my room was an absolute tip. I had all boxes behind me there. I had stuff all over this desk and I just thought I really really don't want to do a video with a load of crap behind me so anyway apologies for that um, thank you for all my new extra subs I uh, really appreciate it um, every time I mention that I'm doing videos I get some more subs in the chat, chat, chat uh, on the Facebook page or in the side chat of Nick and Andrea or Zaheer or Nick and Zaheer's chat whatever um, so thanks very much everyone all my new reseller friends very much appreciated thank you um, I'm not in any way shape or form experienced reseller I am just doing videos because it helps to mark how I'm getting on it also helps people that are just starting out I hope or gives people another idea just to see what I do you know maybe help them along so hopefully you find this video helpful um, please could you like it please could you subscribe if you haven't and leave me comments constructive please no nastiness um, or if you've got any questions for me or anything just uh, leave me a message in the comments below um, as I say I'm really sorry it's been so long since I've done a video um, I've not been well a couple of times um, if you've watched my previous videos um, I've got chronic inflammatory disease and it flares up now and then and because the weather's got colder it's it's flow flared up so um, I've not been well and this reselling has really taken over my life in the fact that I'm doing it a lot more than I was expecting to um, so much so that I'm neglecting other parts of my life not other parts but I'm neglecting my husband a little bit but he's not noticed because he's got an Xbox One X and he's been on that a lot and so he's he's happy for the peace and quiet and me not moaning at him for being on it all the time so in his spare time he goes on that um, but I think the housework has been neglected and also I've not been cooking as much which has not helped with me losing weight I've kind of stayed the same instead of losing weight I was hoping to have lost like another half stone by now but never mind so I need to start logging my hours I think of what I you know and actually set out times when I'm gonna work in here because I'm just spending too much time in here basically um, if I'm not doing my reselling then I'm doing my console covers so yeah I'm spending too much time in here so I'm gonna try and have at least three days off a week hopefully um, the trouble is if I do anything say in my week if I go out to the town shopping or go to the hospital for appointment the next day I'm pretty much good for nothing I'm so exhausted from the day before so that's not helped either so I've got a lot less done than I wanted to but I've still had some good sales um, I still got over my hundred listings mark which is good I've just dipped below that in the last day because I had eight sales yesterday which was excellent that's my best sales day since I started eBay um, just reselling um, so I'm really really pleased with that um, yeah so if you've if you have seen my other videos you've seen that I've changed my hair colour <coughs> uh, it's a bit it looks really weird on the camera it is all one colour it's more that sort of orangey colour it's supposed to be bright red but that hasn't happened um, I just felt like a change but I'm thinking now looking at the although it's not a true reflection the screen it does look like it's picking up all the red parts of my skin so I might I've bought some brown hair dye I might dye it back I'm going out for dinner with friends next week so I'll decide before then although I have been assured that the roots do calm down but I mean it looks really dark there also I've noticed when I do my videos my hair always looks greasy doesn't it and it's not I, cl I washed it this morning it just for some, it's because it's quite thin I suppose anyway enough about my hair sorry about that um, also in the last week and a bit 
I have been on a free trial with something called the Freestyle Libra, which is a continuous monitoring system. I shall show you it. It's stuck in my arm. Can you see that? There you go. Um, so that's a free trial with North Tyneside Hospital, and it costs if you if you don't have the free trial. Oh dear, sorry, my hair. If you don't have the free trial, um, it costs £48 a fortnight, £48 something a fortnight, which is ridiculous. And that is just for that disc. Those discs only last two weeks. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to I'm gonna buy one uh, or keep buying them. I mean, apparently Theresa May has it, so um, obviously she can afford it. I can't. Um, I got the monitor for free. Um, but you have to, as I say, you have to pay Freestyle £48 something every two weeks if you want a disc. I suppose it is worth doing if you're going away on holiday, maybe to a hot country and your blood sugar's all over the place. Sorry, I'm type 1 diabetic if I didn't say. Um, yeah, so it is, I would imagine it benefits, but it hasn't benefited me. In fact, it's made me more stressed. When I first started on it, I kept having loads of hypos, like really bad ones, which exhausted me. So now I've purposely kept my blood sugar higher, which is not good either. That makes you tired, but at least I'm not having loads of hypos. It is really good in the fact that you just stick the monitor on your arm, scan it, it tells you blood sugar, um, which is helpful. And it does like a graph, a daily graph, but mine's just been like all over the place. So I was going to do a YouTube video about the freestyle, but I've decided against it because it will just be me moaning about it so yeah I'm not going to do that anyway so that's another thing um so what have I been up to since I, since you last saw me well for starters I went to Felix Doe if you remember at the end of my last video I said I was really excited about going to Felix Doe I wish I lived there sometimes <laughs> again because there is I'm going to say 10 or 12 charity shops it's a small seaside town Felix Doe where, where I'm from where my family is uh, yeah, there's about 12 charity shops in the main town centre. Um, and it was just like, some of them were just like Christmas to me. I don't, there's obviously not many resellers in Felixstowe because there's stuff that was sat there that I was thinking that would be gone. If that was here, that would be gone. So um, I ended up spending altogether about 130 quid. That was including, I got 25 kilos of stuff and I sent it back to myself. Here, um, and that cost 15 quid so I spent about 115 quid on stuff mostly shoes uh, Clark's shoes and I'll show you some of the bits I got anyway shortly um, yeah so that was really good um, my dad I really enjoyed <laughs> just because I love my husband and he, he likes the fact I'm doing this because I'm making some extra money. But he's not interested when I say, oh, what, guess what I got this for and this is what I'll really sell. But my dad, he's, he's always been a del, bit of a Dell boy. Sorry, Dad. Um, he loves a deal. He loves a bargain. And it was just great. I, like, I was going around the charity shops and just handing everything to him, which was really good for me. Because I hate it when you're going around a charity shop and you've got an arm full of stuff and your arm starts to ache and you have to go to the counter and say, can I leave this here? So that none of that because my dad was with me and he was holding all the stuff. And um, yeah, when we got home, I used to like show him all the stuff, talk to him about it, and then I used to go and do, look at sold and completes and tell him what I'd get, what I was hoping to get, and he'd be like, you know, really enthused with me, and it was really good. And so I'm, I, I wish I had that with my dad all the time. Although we said we're going to try and start talking regularly on the phone because. I ring home and I always mostly speak to my mum or you know my dad's in the background he'll say a couple of things but I don't have a proper conversation with my dad very often so I'm gonna try and start doing that because I miss that I miss my dad love you daddy oh, sorry <laughs> um, yeah so um, organization so when I got back this room was an absolute tip because I'd I'd been photographing loads of stuff because I wanted to get try and get as many listings done when I was at my mum and dad's, which didn't happen. I probably only got about 20 done. Um, so I'd left this room in a tip, and then obviously I had all that stuff that came as well. So there was just stuff everywhere. 
so the first thing I did was I bought um, some Drona boxes I don't know if you've heard of them um, Drona boxes are from Ikea they go in the Kallax unit which I've written there sorry and um, they um, really good for putting your stock in so as you can see behind me I've got a Kallax it's an eight hole Kallax unit so I bought I bought a couple more Drona boxes I'm gonna buy some more a couple more and that's really good for your stock so I've done that I also bought a rail which is to the left of me um, which my husband put up for me um, if you if you're on the tap chat Facebook page you probably saw my room when I started organizing it I got a lot of nice comp compliments from that so thanks very much um, I'm obviously being too loud because my husband's just come and closed the door <clears throat> I was worried I was thinking why is he coming in for and the dog came in I was like oh dear yeah so anyway um so I did that I got the rail so that my space is much more organized also I purchased some clear cellophane bags and they are 12 by 16 I think I got the idea from Carla um, Carla Jenkins she does YouTube um, she keeps all of her stuff and it looks really professional I find as well you know it's just a, a seal yeah so I think that looks really professional and then you can stack them all up in, in your you can stack them all oh I know why he's closed the door he sold the fish tank we have a five foot fish tank since we moved house um, <clears throat> our living room because we've moved from a first floor to a ground floor the, the um, size of the rooms are all the same but the living room now has the en the front door the, um, the door from the front porch the door to the kitchen and the door to the bedrooms whereas in our old place you just had one doorway which was to the hall so it's slightly different layout so um yeah we didn't have enough room for the fish tank I wouldn't have been able to have a Christmas tree up this year which I really wanted so um, he sold the fish tank bless him I don't think he's too he said he was forced into it but he wasn't he wouldn't do it if he didn't want to so yeah um, excuse me I need to have a drink I'm getting croaky already that doesn't bode well um, yeah so I bought those and they cost me £12 for 200 so I thought that was quite good. <clears throat> Next thing I did was, I've been using a notepad every time, because uh, when I'm doing my listings, before I do them, I photograph and I measure my stuff, like clothes. Um, and I've been given everything a number, but I've been doing it in a notepad and I thought, why don't I just do myself a table on the computer so I have called it listing manifest and on it I have got um, the number the item number what the item is the size the color the measurements and other section for any any extra information I want to put in um, hmm I can't remember why I put listed on there I think it might be the date I listed it no I think that's my tick box for listed um, the price I paid, the date I bought it, where I got it from, and the date it sold. So that's really handy for me now. I've been using that. That's a lot easier. You spend a lot less time writing size, colour, weight, measurements. I don't have to now. I've got that there. So that's helped me save some time. Right. Um, so that's all my organisation things I've been sorting out. I feel like I'm running a bit of a smoother operation now, which is good because um, before I was like I just had everything in random boxes you pull a pile you pull something out of the pile it messes up the pile so now with those clear clear things the clear poly bags um, that doesn't happen because it just slides out also and I should have put it next to me um, I don't I showed you in my last video the large letter cardboard boxes I bought I'm still using them but the post office refuse to take them in their when they're made up properly so what you have to do is you have to cut an edge off to make them slightly slimmer like width wise you have to cut an edge off and then you have to fold the edges in so that it's more compact because it has to go straight through that slot that they check it and it doesn't when it's in the full large letter size 
so if anyone buys those boxes be warned you're gonna have to adjust them you're gonna have to cut them down and you're gonna have to squish them I would have showed you one that I'd squished but my husband's just been to the post office for me so I haven't got any on me now so um, maybe next time I shall show you what I mean yeah so that's another thing um, sales shall I show you sales first or shall I show you what I've got first I'll show you sales first all right this will be from October November um, yeah um, trying to think I think yes I was in Felix day when I sold this because I remember saying oh yeah I've sold it this was one of the first things I had when I started um, reselling before I'd really bought any stuff I was just selling my own stuff um, this was my husband's um, he had it at the bottom of his drawer next to his computer for years just sitting there I just thought oh well, someone might want it who collects Rupert so I think I had it on a little bit more than that and I reduced the price and then it sold so I was really happy with that um, it's just a uh, as you can see it's only six centimeters high is solid brass though um, yeah so really pleased with that 12.99 free postage mm. bit bit of delay there this is an item that I bought from a the August bank holiday car boot so it sold it took a little while to sell but I sold it for 9.99 free postage um, and it was in really good condition as you can see there there was only one puzzle that had been opened so all all of these um, all of these are sealed oh now it decides to do it see they're all sealed Th that was the only one that wasn't and all I had to do was um, count the pieces make sure they were all there and use one of my sealy bags sorted so I, uh, it's it's um it's a calendar the actual um I'm just real oh no I've got more pictures I was gonna say is it going to go yeah it's it's a calendar and that had all not been used so you've got like a plastic frame that the puzzle fits into you've got the calendar um, and that had all not been used so I could set I said it was in um, a new condition one puzzle has been opened but otherwise unused to see pictures yeah so um, I paid a pound for that so pretty good I don't think I'm gonna go for puzzles again if I'm honest um, yeah because um, mm, they're easy enough to pack but you've got to count all the pieces which is a bit time-consuming and I don't know I thought I was gonna get more than that I don't know why it was when I first started as I say so I'd, I'm gonna stick to what I know at the minute I think every month I'll probably try well you'll see later when stuff I've bought um, I'm gonna try a few bits out of my comfort zone um, but I'm just gonna mostly stick to what I know anyway so that was that next now these were my husband's and he bought them in the 90s when he lived with his dad to go to a christening and he wore them once at this christening and the lace snapped so they got put at the bottom of the wardrobe and then he moved to Felixstowe uh, in the late 90s and he met me oh dear for him <laughs> in Felixstowe um, these were still in Newcastle in his bottom of his bedroom wardrobe and then he was around his dad's and he was looking for something and he said oh I forgot I had them he gave them to me to sell so I'm really pleased with them I mean obviously they're in really good condition because they were worn once I mean the reason the Dr Martin's bits missing there is because there was a sticker he'd not took the reduced sticker out they'd been reduced in a sale um, yeah as you can see by the by the sole there hardly anywhere and the vintage or should I say question is are they vintage maybe they're retro I don't know how old something has to be to be vintage can 90s be vintage maybe possibly not I don't know and they were size 12 because my husband's got massive feet yeah so I was really pleased with that 
45 quid free postage. Now this has been sat in my wardrobe for about five years. I bought it. No, it's got to be longer than five years. Uh, as, as you know, ladies, a size 18 is not a size 18 in a lot of shops. This is not a size 18 really, it's more like a size 16. So it's always important when you're doing clothes is to measure the chest because otherwise you'll get questions saying what is the chest measurement because size 18 isn't always a true size 18 and this isn't. Um, so it's been in my wardrobe for ages thinking well when, once I get down to size 14 it'll fit me nicely and then I just thought oh sod it I'm just going to put it, put them on so I've got two, I've got this one and navy one navy one still hasn't sold so I've reduced the price by a pound for that one um, yeah but I think I paid £5 each for them in the January sale and it's got to be at least five years ago possibly more and they've, they're new with tags from the Chelsea Chelsea um, website, Chelsea Football Club website, website. Um, yeah, so good. Considering they've just been sitting there, I just thought, oh, I'm gonna sell them. So I'm pleased with that. Now these I showed you in a previous video. They are the next shoes, which I was contemplating on whether to keep or not, and I called them Converse Style because they are essentially. I mean the bottoms of them look exactly like Converse as you can see there. They were in really nice condition, looked like they'd only been worn once or twice. Um, so I put them on for 12 99 and I got that. I think I paid 3 or 4 tell me if I'm wrong. I think it was 3 99 not 100% sure. I did say in my last video so anyway, pleased with that sale. Now this I got from a tabletop sale. Um, this was back in August as well, just around the corner from me at the local church hall. Every Saturday afternoon they do a tabletop like car boot and um, the guy had a sort of mixed lot of stuff and I saw that on the floor and I remember Nick saying about typewriters, look out for typewriters. So I saw that and he wanted six quid for it and I got him down to four quid and it was in really really lovely condition it's still typed um, I put in the in the description as well that you can still buy the ribbons I've put half used ribbon inside new ones can be purchased from eBay for 375 and I think that helped um, yeah I was so pleased it was sat there and was sat there and I thought oh, I'm gonna have to reduce it so I'm really pleased with the sale of that as I say it, it took a little bit of cleaning up but it was, it was in lovely condition so yeah really pleased and the case had no cracks there's like a case that goes over the top as you can see there um, yeah so really chuffed with that only downside of that was um, Hermes who I used to send it it took them 19 days to deliver it. Now I was unaware because I didn't hear anything from the buyer so I just assumed they'd received it and they were happy with it. It's only when I, I happened to see that I'd sold um, Optimus Prime helmet and that was still with the courier with Hermes I thought oh, I'd better check on that one as well and then I seen it I couldn't believe it I could not believe it and lo and behold I ring Hermes and suddenly both items are delivered so weird it just had it as in the system it was didn't say where it was or anything just said in the system I didn't hear anything from the from the buyer so I'm assuming he he or she I think it was a he just assumed that they take ages but I mean I see that it says estimate delivery within 13 to 15 days I thought I had it on three to five days. Oh, maybe I'm wrong there. Didn't see that there. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, it took 19 days. Maybe that's why they didn't complain because it took so long. But I've heard other people say that Hermes are excellent and that it literally took a day or two to come. So I'm doing something wrong there. So anyway, I've decided I'm not going to use Hermes anymore. 
because I'm not impressed. I've only sent three items with them and two of them took bloody ages. So I'm not going to use them. I will just pay the bit extra and use Parcel Force. Well, I'm going to use Parcel Monkey because that's who I used to send my box and that was good. So I might just do that. Um, we shall see. I'm not planning on doing really heavy because I mean that weighed like five kilos or something. I'm not planning on doing anything heavy anymore. I did an experiment with him. It took ages to shift. I like stuff that goes along nicely, doesn't take too long to sell. And I think it's such a niche market that I don't know whether it's worth doing. If you've got the space to store stuff like that, then I would say go for it. But I haven't got the space. As you know, if you've seen my previous video, this is my sewing room. This is I'm sat at my husband's side of the room, which is his computer, his PS4, his Xbox, and his PC that he built, and he's got a shelf with all his games and stuff. And I've already took over a little bit of that, because this is supposed to be his half, and I've already took over a bit with my rail. And then the other side is all my storage, my sewing machines, everything. So, yeah, I can't really take the mick anymore with that. So, good sale anyway. Waffling on. Yeah, so here's the Optimus Prime helmet. Um, I bought this one and a Bumblebee one for 20 quid off Spock. And the guy delivered as well. Um, I thought they would sell really quick. It was Ben Fitzpatrick, I think, he said they are worth getting. So I got really excited when I found some on Spock. Um, I don't think Spock and Facebook are very good, personally. Possibly... I don't know. It might be the area I'm in, but I think that everybody who sells stuff on Spock and Facebook in this area is pretty savvy. They're going and checking sold and completeds on eBay and then charging a couple of quid less, so there's, there's no point in buying anything because there's no profit in it. So I was quite surprised when they only wanted 20 quid for these two. So I've sold this one, 21.99. Um, as I say, it took blinking ages. I think it took 18 days to get to the woman, but she gave me really good feedback because I did. I was backwards and forwards messaging her saying I'm trying to sort the problem out. Really sorry and everything. So um, yeah, that was good. So still got the Bumblebee one. I think I'm going to have to reduce the price. I started off at like 34.99, but I've been reducing it bit by bit. I'm hoping it's going to sell for Christmas. Fingers crossed. I might have to move it to a different category. I think I might have it in the wrong category. Um, trying to think what I've got it in body parts and pieces, which is what Ben Fitzpatrick had it in. So I checked when he had his one on. Um, I might ch move it to a different category, and it might get seen. Anyway, so pretty pleased with that. Uh, next item was a pickup from. I think. No. What is the name of that charity shop? I went to Newcastle with my husband shopping. Um, it sold really quick. It sold within like three days of me listing it. And I can't remember the name of the charity shop. Oxfam. Oxfam, yes it. Two ninety nine. I paid for it anyway. Um, I did get feedback. I washed it. There was no holes. I checked all the Velcro. I cleaned all the Velcro up because it had all little fluffy bits in it from kids' jumpers and stuff. Um, it was lovely, it was in spotless condition, really nice, and I got feed I got positive feedback, but she put, um, some of the Velcro was loose, but she'll sew it, or something negative, and I just thought, oh, I checked the whole thing, I did message her and say, I'm sorry about that, I did check the whole thing, I did check the whole thing over, there was no loose Velcro, so I don't know what that was about, anyway, at least it wasn't negative, um, yeah, that sold really quick. Uh, this I showed you in my last... I think it was my last video body warmer so that went for 12.99 so pleased with that um tiggy i think it sold pretty quickly as well some things i put on and they sell bish bash bosh quick oh this has been on for a while this is my husband's been sat in a cupboard he never wears it from the 90s i put vintages again maybe i should have put retro if any clothes sellers out there sell vintage retro give me an idea of when I should put vintage and when I should put retro um, I have got my retro oasis leather jacket on and I did have it on as vintage and it had two watches changed it to retro now I've got 15 watches so I've put the price up by a couple of pound 
still not no bites so I might put it down again this weekend see if it sells yeah so I'm thinking maybe I should have put retro anyway I started it off at 19.99 I've been reducing it and it's gone for 13.99 so I was pleased with that as I say it was just stuck in a cupboard now these are a Felix Doe pickup that sold straight away pretty much within a week of me listing <coughs> um, salopettes well I put snowboarding salopettes um, <coughs> sorry about that yeah um, really good condition I was a bit miffed though because I thought they were perfect and then I found this little scuff so I had to put that in the listing so they I did have to reduce the price a little bit because I think I was going to put them on for 22 99 or 20 or 90 no yeah 21 99 22 99 something like that yeah so um, they're a little bit lower because of that mark but they sold really quick so I'm really pleased with that they were in really good condition um, yeah so excellent I think I paid 2 99 for those as well in Felix Day. my mum was like why are you buying those <coughs> I was like because trust me mum Nick Hills said buy some skiing gear so that's what I've done <laughs> thanks Nick <laughs> if you're watching this um, so this is a dress that I bought for myself oh gosh sorry if you can hear the dog my husband's gone to the front door and the dog's going wild um, I bought this for myself it came from China I think it was £6.99 including postage which is ridiculous and I sold it for £14.99 um, it's still new with tags really nice dress and what I did as well is I, I laid it out on the floor to show the skirt the lovely full skirt and I think that helped um, so that's a good tip if you're selling anything like that I need to do that with the Lindy Bop dress I've got actually because that's sitting not being sold so yeah pleased with that 14 99 good sale these were from Oxfam as well I paid 99p and they've gone for 6 98 um, I've forgotten his name now I think it was the here that recommended I've forgotten his name youtuber I watched one video and he said if it's not just list 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 you need to adjust the listings you've got if they're not moving so I reduced it by a penny I had them on for 6 99 reduced it to 6 98 and they sold so hey it does work <laughs> right this is my last sale I bought this for my dog Monty and it's too small for him he is a size medium and this is a size medium Um, it's a really nice it's by repels it um, oh I should have spun that round <coughs> it's by repels it which is a good make and um, it's in really good condition I bought that from the RSPCA in Felix Doe it cost me three quid as I say I had the intention of getting it for my dog but it was just too tight for him bless him it's 40 centimeters my dogs 52 he's grown loads recently he's 52 centimeters long he's got a little tiny body little skinny legs but he's long so I don't know if he's pure spaniel mixed with poodle I'm not sure because he's funny shape yeah so pleased with that 12 quid sold straight away within two days of me listing it so really pleased with that so they're all my sales right not all my sales they're a selection of my sales because you don't want to see jeans 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 because I've been selling loads of jeans I had squillions of pairs of jeans and also um, I'm still selling my husband's blu-rays and loads of my old office workwear that's been selling well so I thought they're boring I'm gonna show the more interesting things that I've sold right so now I shall show you some of the things I picked up right Felix Doe I've got quite a few watches on these so I'm hoping they sell pretty quick they are Carvella they are size 36 though that's the only thing leather sorry I'll move back a bit I'm still getting used to this I mean they're really someone's gonna love them size 36 which is a four is it four no it's a three size 36 is a three 37 is a four 38 is a 5, 39 is a 6, 
uh, 40 is a 7. Yeah. So these are a size 3. So that's probably why they're sitting there a little bit. I've got them on for... I bought. I paid 3 99 for them in the Red Cross charity shop in Felixstowe. And I'm hoping that I get 36 99 for them. Really pleased with those. Right, I've got the stuff I bought the other day. Oh, these I bought just before I went to Felixstowe. And I've only just listed them because I've been so behind. They're hush puppies. They're in really good condition. There is someone selling another pair. Mine have got a tiny little... I don't know if it's going to be visible. I think it's pretty much gone now. I don't know why I put it on the listing. I might take it off now. Is it visible? Can you see there's a tiny little red mark on the side? And I used... Um, I've got Shadazzle, if anyone's heard of that. It's a natural cleaner. I bought some of that on the uh, shopping channel. Really good it is. Um, and that's got most of it off, so I might... I did say that the, the stain's not as visible. I paid um, 8 50 for those. And I think I've got them on for 33 99 These I haven't listed yet. Faith Brown Suede Boots. I'm thinking they will go well. I paid six ninety nine for them. They're really good condition. Don't look like they've hardly been worn, so I'm really pleased with those. What else was I going to show you? Um, these are interesting. They are so comfortable. They're Dulcies leather. I think they're only four quid. And th look, they're in really good condition. They've hardly been used. Really nice. These, these I love and I would wear if I could walk in heels but I can't because they're my size, size 5. These are Leather River Island. Very sexy. Don't know if these are going to sell because they're well worn but then I'm sure tap shoes are quite hard to um, break in. So, um, oh no, hang on, sorry. So, um, yeah. I bought some tap shoes, leather, but they are, as I say, look, well worn. But they're leather sole and leather upper, and they're by a make called Roche Valley, size 6, which is a good size. <laughs> uh, yeah, tap shoes. Um, they only cost 3 99 I can't remember how much I'm going to list them for. I haven't listed them yet. But I've got them on my manifest to do. Um, lots of Clarks. These are just uh, wide fit Clarks, but they're in really good condition. Um, Clarks flat shoes. These are a bit odd. They only cost 150 so I thought I might as well take a punt on them. They're an American make called Joey O. Never seen them before. Uh, no listings on the UK eBay. They were on the American one. Um, they're really well made. They're like a wooden mule and the inside's leather. They're made in Brazil, leather upper. Um, but they've got like, um, it's like velvet, which velvet's in at the minute, so that might help. So I haven't listed them yet, but as I say, they're on my manifest to do this weekend to put on. They look like they've hardly been worn. So, um, I can't remember what I put on. I should have bought my um, clipboard with me to put what I'm going to list them for. But as I say, I only paid 150 for them. I won't show you all the shoes because there's absolutely loads of shoes. And these were good for 150 as well. They're um, Head Over Heels, which is June. Um, I've got... It doesn't say anything in about it being leather, so I'm not sure if they are leather. They don't look like leather, but they are nice. So, um, they're a size 6. And they're not, they don't look like they've been worn too much. Um, it's, it's, it's an unusual shape to them, so they should go. If not now, then maybe towards the summer, spring. These were 150 as well. They're faith. They're only size 3, but they're really nice. They've got like a strap that goes round. Um, yeah, 150, so 
pleased with that. Apologies. <laughs> I have stuff all around me. These are from Felix Day as well. Uh, they cost me nine pounds from Cancer Research, and they're in really good condition. Size six. These little holes here, they're vans. These little holes here all had mud in, so I think someone just couldn't be bothered to clean them, so they just gave them to charity. So I think I should get about thirty-five for those. As I say, I paid nine pounds for them, and I've got a box. Um, this these flats you have um like a communal little communal bit with the recycling bins all the recycling bins and i opened the lid to put some card in and there was a brand new vans box with the vans paper in and everything so i thought i'll get that and then if i see a pair of vans and i've got a box to put them in and that's what happened so that was really good really pleased with that right That'll do for my Felix Day haul because uh, just so much stuff. I got a couple of corduroy jackets. I got a really nice Czech Marks and Spencer jacket. I got a padded, like a red Marks and Spencer, another Marks and Spencer jacket. I got a lovely dress. I'll show you the dress actually. And thanks very much for the tat chat because you helped me figure out what make it was because I didn't know. You, it's you me. really lovely maxi dress really long really lovely um, reduced from four pound to two pound and I looked on on sold and completed and um, yeah I should get about 23 quid for that so good excellent uh, I got some cuddly toys as well I'll show you a couple because um, I'm using a couple of them for the one pound challenge Carla Jenkins one pound challenge but I'll talk about that in a minute um, so I went to the charity shop day before yesterday and got a few bits as well I spent 40 quid oh, sorry my hair I said to myself I'm gonna stop playing with my hair sorry um, these are really lovely and they look really quality made um, they're from a, a mate called Johnny Coogon Coogon London Can you see that? They're really nice, like a champagne colour. I thought they were perfect, but they have one missing... One missing diamante, if you can see there. Yeah, it's focused. But they should still go alright. But I was I was like, oh, they're probably... They look quality made. They'll probably go quite high, but they're not, sadly. So I'm not going to say... I'm not going to start my listing with Johnny Coogan London. I'll put that at the end. I'll just put diamante... It's like a rainbow diamante, I think, I would call it. But they look like they've hardly been worn, if you can see the. They're in really good condition, size five. Um, they were four quid, three ninety five, I think. So, yeah, I thought they were worth a punt. Also, velvet is very in. If I face this towards the light, can you see that there? It's green. It's a dark green velvet, really long dress, sleeveless, but it it's really lovely. It's size 18. I tried it on, and it's very flattering, like ankle length. Um, definitely being worn as evening wear. I would like some help, please, if any of you clothes sellers are watching. Um, if anyone has any idea what label this might be, it's been torn out. See that there? Probably not. It's a, it's it's had some brown. It looks like it was brown. The thread. Um, and also the. I looked in the care label. The care label 
says made in the UK. And that's all it says. The other side just has a, like a code and wash, wash and dry separately. Iron on reverse. So I, I don't know what make that is, but it's really nice. I thought I would take a punt at six fifty because it's a really nice long, good size velvet, which is in as I say, really lovely colour green. <coughs> this I'm not sh sure about. I might have spent too much money. It's by Coast. And it's size um, size 16, and I paid 9.50 for it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. God, I'm terrible with this camera. Sorry. It's like a jewel. It's a really deep, nice purple. It, it looks like it'd be really flattering. It's like boned. The straps are missing, but you can put other straps in. I suppose you could put clear straps in or something. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure I might have paid too much for that. I got excited when I seen, I was thinking, oh, party dresses, but I might have paid too much. This I paid 99p for, and it's in the box, which is good. And I had a look at um, solds, and I think I should get 12.99 at least. Maybe more, because I think the person that sold them didn't have the box. So they're by nylon? I have heard of nylon, but I'm not sure. Um, looks like they're. It doesn't have a London address on the back. It says Portugal, Hong Kong, USA. I'm not going to get them out because they've got polystyrene that around them. But they're just like metal bookends. So I thought it's worth 99p. Something red, which needs a wash, but it's very nice. It is a Marks and Spencer deep red chenille cardigan that has really nice like fluted sleeves and it was only 3 95 and it's size 16 I tried it on and it looks really nice on me so I might wear it for a little while and then sell it who knows got some checks Marks and Spencer check trousers they're nice they're well made um, they were three quid, so I thought they were worth three quid. Actually, I think they need a wash. They don't smell the freshest. So, sorry, sniffing. <laughs> um, this I got because I've seen that um, Andrea looks out for denim skirts. And this is a really long one. <sighs> really long. I mean, it's. I think the size is long. Yeah, it's um, 16 long and it really is long because I tried it on and it was too long for me. It was like to the floor. Uh, so, yeah, three quid. I thought that was definitely worth three quid. I reckon I should get at least 12, 13 pound. Hopefully. Right. I think that's all my bits I got. Oh no, one more thing. I've covered it in stuff now. Ah. In my charity shop. Sorry if you saw my butt there. You might have done. Sorry. Apologies for that. Um, in my charity shop, you never see stuff in boxes. And these were in the box. June. I would like to know what the original price was. It's probably quite a bit. Um, yeah, so they are Tennessee Cleated Sole Lace Up Tan. In the lid is a spare pair of heels. So I think these were worth a tenner. I looked on sold and completed and there wasn't anything like this, which is good. When there's nothing like it and you think it's nice, that means someone else is going to think it's nice. So yeah, I think these were definitely worth a tenner. You can have the, you can have them up like that, or you can have them down like that. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna possibly thirty-five, but I know that June is sought after. People like June stuff. So yeah. So that's everything I got the other day from the charity shop and a few bits from Felix Day. So. <laughs> 
if you're still there, thanks for sticking with me. I don't know how long I've been so far. I haven't got my timer up. No, I don't have my time up. I should have checked the time if, when I started. I'm thinking possibly 45 minutes, sorry. Um, so now I shall tell you the items to be on the lookout for when I find my list. Um, this is stuff that's really in at the moment. And there's a few bits that you should look out for if you want to sell before Christmas. Um, as in the little red dress instead of the little black dress as red's in. Sequins in general always sell at Christmas. Anything sequins look out for um, if you're planning on selling. But sequins are still in after Christmas. So people are sequins are in at the minute. And I'm sure they still will be after Christmas. So if this if it doesn't look Christmassy, I would still buy it. Uh, and metallics. Metallics are always in at Christmas. Um I've got a metallic gold jumper that I wear every year because it washes really nice and it looks Christmassy. So they're the Christmas stuff and then stuff that's going to go into next year is slogan knitwear. I think slogan jumpers as well personally because you know it's come back in stuff with slogans on. Um, tailoring. Tailoring is really in at the minute as well embellished trousers, jewel embellishments, uh, gothic chic. So those wedge leather boots that I've got, I'm hoping that will appeal to someone. Fluted sleeves are still in. 70s style but not too 70s so you look dress up. So 70s style dresses, maxi knits, um, long sleeves on the, on the 70s style dresses. And pearl details are in, like especially on knitwear, jumpers, anything with a pearl detail. Um, statement earrings are in. Um, I've seen people wearing them look like curtain tassels, massive on their ears. Um, faux sheepskins in. Uh, luxury loungewear is in. So anything, if you've got stuff that you could wear as loungewear, put loungewear in your keywords. That should help. As I said, velvet is very in. Uh, long boots. So I'm hoping those faith boots that I bought, they're quite long. Um, even over the knee boots are back in now. And thigh high boots are back in. Ugh, not that I would wear them, but they're in. Um, and stuff with all the rainbow colours on. I don't know if anyone follows Holly Willoughby. She wore a dress a few weeks back on Jonathan Ross. She's obviously very in the know with fashion because rainbow is sort of spring summer next year so she's in on it already so um yeah that's clothes styles to be on the lookout for right i just want to mention the one pound challenge with carla if you're still here thanks very much um carla set out a one pound challenge where she buys something for a pound when she sells it she puts the profit after um fees and postage in a tin then she gets something else for a pound and does the same repeat 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 until next Christmas so that she's got some spending money for Christmas and I said to her yes I'd definitely like to join you I've got some stuff that I bought from Felix Doe so I'll show you what it is now come to 99p I have got he's wrapped up in his cellophane I've got a talking thumper and he wasn't working um in the charity shop my dad changed the batteries for me and he works lovely now i don't i think i've got him switched off to the postage yeah i have but he um he thumps his foot and he says he says stuff from the film it's really good and i reckon i could get 13 14 pound for him so but you know that's really good for 49p and then this is a limited edition i don't know if you can Sorry, I'm rubbish at this with the camera. It's because it's backwards. There we go. That is like a, a limited edition tag um, thing on from Toy Story 2, Wheezy. And I saw him in... My mum has a friend that works in a charity shop and she was talking to her. And just as I was paying, I saw him and I said, oh, he hasn't got a price on. How much do you want? She went, oh, 50p. So, yeah, I should get quite a bit for him as well. Because, as I say, he's limited edition. Sorry, he's in plastic, but I keep everything protected now in the plastic. 
So they're my two items. I haven't listed them yet, but I will this weekend, hopefully, for my pound challenge. Um, <clears throat> I can't read my own writing. I've put something at the end of my list of things to say. <coughs> Want leave so long? Oh, I won't leave it so long. That's what I meant. <laughs> So um, thanks very much if you're still here watching my video. Um, I won't leave it so long next time, so the video won't be as long because this has been very long-winded and I do apologise for that. So um, yeah, I promised, I promised, I promised, I promised, kept saying I was going to do a video and then I said, right, I put it in the in the Tap Chat Facebook page this week. I said, right, I've written it down. I will do a video this week. So here it is. So if you're still here, thank you very much. If you, if you like the video... Thank you very much. I hope the sound's better. As I say, I've got an arm. I don't know if it's going to get in the shot. There you go. Oh, wrong way. Oh, I can't turn it round. It's a um, it's a snowball mic. Oh, I'm need. I'm all over the place now. Yeah. So hopefully you can hear me better now. Um, I had the mic on the desk before, and I was moving my head away from it. So I'm hoping this is better and you can hear me better. And I'm starting to lose my voice, so that means I've been talking to far, for far too long. So, um, yeah, as I say, hopefully I should do this again in December. Middle of December, maybe. Let you know how I'm getting on with my sales. So until then, thanks very much. Thanks very much if you're still here and you lasted this long. And I'm really sorry I'm losing my voice. And appreciate all your all your lovely compliments that I get all your positivity all all my new reseller friends in the in the side chat and on Facebook and Instagram and everything thank you so much and I shall see you all soon toodle pip <laughs>